everybody listen it's been a minute it's been a minute since i've been on here and the internet today will not let me be great but i pray that you get this the single word before i go into to speak at this event okay I pray that you get this, this just the smaller word because <laughs> the internet is not letting me be great. Facebook is not letting me be great. My phone ain't letting me be great. But listen, I'm going to love myself today, y'all. I am not going to let it get me down. I am not going to let it get me discouraged. But the message today, by the way, before I tell y'all the message, if y'all are not watching me on YouTube, make sure you follow me on YouTube, Chanel Renee. <laughs> okay, it's just that simple. Just follow me. Make sure you subscribe because I dropped some tea. Um, over there if you need a breakthrough in your life a breakthrough in your job a breakthrough in your career a breakthrough in your relationship a breakthrough in your parenting your co-parenting your village parenting whatever make sure make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel chanel renee i may post the link up somewhere somewhere around up in here but if you're watching me on youtube make sure you subscribe anyway i'm on here to tell you ladies make sure you love yourself you got to love yourself listen I saw this quote several weeks ago, actually, and I wanted to share it with y'all several weeks ago, and it kind of just got lost in the shuffle, but I want to share it with y'all today. I'm going to speak on it today. Listen, you got to love yourself so much to the point that people and other folks lack of love, lack of commitment, lack of dedication, lack of empathy for you. It don't bother you. It don't bother you. You you understand that their lack of empathy don't got nothing to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Because here's the thing. When you love yourself, I'm talking about for real love. I'm talking about for real loving yourself. I'm not talking about, you know, you just getting around folks to tell you what you want to hear. I'm talking about loving yourself to the point where you take care of your body. You eat the things that are healthy for you, not just the sugary things, but the things that are healthy for your body. You exercise. You get around people that inspire you to be better. You get around people that tell you when you're wrong. You get around people that encourage you. You get around people that will clap for you, that will show you how to clap for yourself. That's that's the kind of love I'm talking about you need to have for yourself. The reality is this. If you don't love yourself, how you expect other people to love you? If you're not clapping for yourself, how you can expect other people to clap for you? If you're not encouraging yourself, how are you going to expect other people to encourage you? How are you going to expect them to show up for you? How are you going to expect them to, to admire you when you're not even showing up for yourself? Come on, somebody. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know when to shout. <laughs> If you're not showing up for yourself, you're not getting up in the morning, you're not brushing your teeth, you're not doing your hair, you're not making sure you smell good, you're not going out and exercising, you're not eating the things that's going to make you, your body healthy as long as it can be, why do you expect somebody else to put themselves on the back burner for you? How does that work? You got to show up for, for yourself, ladies. You've got to show up for yourself and say, you know what? I'm going to eat this banana. I'm going to eat these grapes. I'm going to I'm going to eat this 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 salad. I'm going to eat these cucumbers. I'm going to eat this apple. I'm going to drink this water. I'm going to go on this walk. I'm going to go to this gym. If you're not showing up for yourself, why are we complaining when people walk out of our lives? Why are we complaining because people don't show up for us? Then you've got to love yourself to the point that their lack of of love for you it don't bother you no more it don't bother you no more because guess what they missing out they missing out on all this goodness okay they missing out on all this goodness because you have dedicated and you have committed to taking care of yourself you take you've dedicated your life to making sure that you are the best vessel that god created listen y'all y'all don't even know when to shout because God gave us an opportunity when he created us and he had the plans already set for us for us to go out and fulfill those plans against all obstacles. God said, I've made you more than a conqueror. And when he made us more than a conqueror, he said, I've put in you the ability to overcome any obstacle that this world will bring your way. He said, Jesus said, I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. So guess what? We can overcome the world. We can overcome the world. And I think sometimes we shortchange ourselves so much because we look at the big boulder and the big obstacle and we just give up. We just say, oh, it's not worth it. 
Okay, public service announcement. You are worth it. You, I'm talking to you. You are worth it. You are worth overcoming that obstacle. Okay, so what? They didn't call you back. Okay, well then you call them. You pick up the phone and call them. You pick up the phone and call somebody else because guess what? For every no, there's a yes still out there. There's a yes still out there for you. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on you. Listen, if you don't catch anything I'm saying today at all, I want you to catch this. Nobody can love you more than you. Nobody can love, I don't care what kind of husband you got. If you are a man watching this, I don't care what kind of wife you got. I don't care what kind of boyfriend, fiance, girlfriend, whatever. Nobody can love you more than you. And when you really get a revelation of that and you understand God's love for you and how much he loves you to the point where he gave his life. He said, I'm, I laid down my life for you, for you, so that you can have eternal life. That's the only one that loves you more than you. But you've got to love yourself enough to remember that he said he you was worth dying for. I don't care if that person didn't call you back. Jesus said you was worth dying for. So guess what? You go ahead and call somebody else. Pick up the phone, call somebody else. Because guess what? There's a promise out there for you. There's a plan that's going to be fulfilled if you let them. If you let God fulfill your plan, the plan in your life, he going to do it. He is going to do it. But don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your purpose. Let me tell you something. When I decided to walk in my purpose, I, I, I say I decided, but God really, really like pushed me into my purpose because I was so afraid. I was so afraid that people wouldn't hear what I had to say, that it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't uh the 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 walls wouldn't come down the mountains wouldn't be moved like you know i envisioned it and when god pushed me into my purpose and i started really walking in it and just really walking by faith let me tell you something just to hear my client say chanel this was a breakthrough this was deliverance you just freed me no god just freed you he just used me as a conduit to free you but god just set you free God just delivered you. That was a stronghold. And listen, I'm not scared of no stronghold. I Listen, I love to see the strongholds be torn down. And so when I see that happening, I just have to give God glory because that is what my purpose is. To bring down strongholds. To see and identify the strongholds in people's lives and to tear them things down. And to let them know that the power of God is real. And, and when I see the change and the transformation, it is so worth it. I am so thankful and grateful that God pushed me into my purpose. And let me tell you something. Whatever is holding you back right now, allow God to push you into your purpose. Because I don't care what kind of strength you got. He has way more power. He said, I have all power in my hands. I have all power in my hands. And guess what? You got the power too because he gave you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all of the power of the enemy. So whatever power you're up against right now, you got the power to tread upon that, upon that, upon that. You got the power to knock it down, okay? And so we're going to take that power and to make it be manifest in our lives so that we can see the glory of God be revealed. I don't come on here to go to church to with y'all right now, but I just want y'all to catch that in your spirit that what you have inside of you, what God has declared on the inside of you, let it be revealed and let God get the glory out of your life. Stop depending on people to clap for you. Stop depending on people to show up for you. Stop depending on people to, to, to do all these things. Just depend on God. Depend on God. Depend on the Holy Spirit that he put. If you claim that you got the Holy Ghost, you got to depend on that power that's within you to reveal your next steps, to reveal your next moves, to reveal what 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 is coming down the pipeline for you, for you. And walk in that thing. Walk by faith and not by sight. Not by sight. Let the word of God be a light unto your feet, a lamp unto your feet, a light unto your path. And continue to walk in the path that God has chosen for you. Listen, it will be so worth it. I promise you that. It will be so, 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 so worth it. So I hope that blessed you all. Um, I'm getting ready to go in here and get dressed and, and have this event tonight. But I'm super excited about what God is doing in each of all each of your lives. 
um some of you be in my dms let me know what's going on i love it i love it i love it make sure you make sure you are part of the text club that's how you get information 77948 that is how you become a part of the text club text the word priceless to 77948 if you don't see if you can't write this down make sure you look at the announcements in this group and um if you're watching on youtube it's going to be down in the description below to join the the price um the priceless text club to get all the coupons to get all the sales and to be the first to know about all of this stuff text the word priceless to 77948 and you will be in the know on all the stuff i got going on all right so anyway y'all have an amazing day i'm getting ready to go in here and get dressed and um we're about to have some fun tonight, y'all. But y'all have an amazing evening, and I will see y'all soon. Y'all take care. Make sure you love yourself, though.